So our next section is 3.4, which is graphing linear functions in standard form. Linear functions in standard form are anything that looks like ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. Okay. The other caveat on here, both a and b not equal to zero at the same time. Okay, for one of them to be zero, for not both of them to be zero. Okay. Um, one thing I want to remind you is that the equation of a horizontal line is just y equals some number. And the equation of a vertical line is any time you just end up with x equaling some number. Um, any other time when you have y's and both x's in there, you're going to end up with some sort of diagonal line. Um, and let's just do some examples. I'm going to show you the method to do this. 2x plus 5y equals 10. What we're going to do to graph this is we're going to find the intercepts. We're going to put a 0 in for x, and then solve for y. We're going to put a 0 in for y. excuse me, and solve for x. And I, I call this the cover-up method. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up one term at a time, and I'm going to solve that equation. So if I cover up my x term, because if I put a 0 in for x, I get 5y equals 10. Divide both sides by 5, and I get y is 2. Then I'm going to cover up the y term, and I get 2x equals 10. So x equals 5. And if I were to graph that, I now have my x and y intercepts. My y is 2. My x is 5, and once you have those two intercepts, you connect them with a straight line. Okay, I'm going to do one more example on here, then I'm going to go through your IXLs. Next example I am going to do is um, negative 3x plus 4y equals 16. I'm going to cover up the x's. And that's going to be 4y equals 16. So y is 4. I'm going to cover up the y's. That is negative 3x equals 16. So x is equal to negative 16 thirds, which is negative 5 and 1 third. If I want to graph this, Um, I get y is 4, x is negative 5 and a third. I need to do that one in blue. Then I get my straight edge. And I graph them.
Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you're just doing the same steps every time. Every time you're dividing by, by the number in front of the letter. So here I divided by the four. Here I divided by the negative three. You need to use a calculator to do the division. Go ahead and use a calculator. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to the IXLs. I'm going to do some examples directly from your IXL. Graph a horizontal or vertical lines, first one. Graph the equation x equals negative 9. So there we go. Vertical line at negative 9. x equals 1. Okay, that was the level one type questions. So let's go to a level two. X equals 70. See if there's give us a Y equals. There we go. Y equals three. So there's a couple level two questions. Let's jump to level three. X equals zero. I clicked it on zero and just went up from it. Do one more on this. Y equals zero. Okay. That would be this one. And let's see if they're going to give us X equals nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So um, that first one is really easy. You're just graphing horizontal and vertical lines. X's mean you have a vertical line. Y's mean you have a horizontal line. So let's go back and do the other one. Graph a line from an equation. Okay, I'm going to do cover-up method. If I cover up the X, I'm left with Y equals negative 9. If I cover up the Y, I get X equals negative 9. And there's my graph. Okay. If I cover up the X's, um, I'm actually going to um, put the thing over here. So the two equations I'm going to have are 7x equals negative 63. The second one is negative 9y equals negative 63. So my x is equal to negative 9. My y is equal to 7. So my y is 7, my x is negative 9. Okay, next one I have 5x is 30. I have 3y is 30. So here x is 6 and y is 10. Again, if you need to use a calculator, go ahead and do it. X is 6, Y is 10. So those are level 1 questions. Here's some level 2s. Looks like the only difference here is they're using some bigger numbers. Again, use the calculator if you need to. Here, 4X equals 80. And 8Y equals 80. Divide by 4, I get x is 20. Divide by 8, and I get y is 10. So x is 20, y is 10. And let's do a level 3 problem. Okay. Only difference between the levels is the bigger numbers. And if you need to use a calculator, like I said, please use the calculator to come up with these. There isn't um, a reason for you to get the answer wrong because you were too proud not to use the calculator to come up with these numbers. The so first equation I have is 9x equals 7,200. So if you need to use calculator, you're going to do 7,200 divided by 9. Get x is 800. And you get negative 24y equals 7,200. 
You're going to do 7,200 divided by negative 24 in the calculator and get negative 300. I'm going to plot the point X is 800 and Y is negative 300. So, fairly straightforward. Should not take you very long to complete those two IXL lessons.